were born to lose, so just go home now. Three big shots. They're absolutely going to get thrashed. Two new products. What are we going to do to make ours unique? But only one team can win. Have the result right here. Beat the bus. I'm Syra Khan, and this is Beat the Boss, where three bright sparks compete against three big shots to create a brand new product for the children's market. The question is, who knows what you really want? Our teams are going to have to launch themselves into this challenge if they're going to win, because they have to create a brand new product that's out of this world. Today's bright sparks are Che, Jack and Jessica. First up, Che. She loves to be creative on paper and in the kitchen. Ambition, product designer. Big Shots, you might be good at making money, but you're not taking this prize from us. We're taking the trophy home. Next, Jack. He always has his skates on and never fails to score. Career plan to make millions. Big Shots, we haven't met you yet, but there's one thing for certain. You're going down. Finally, Jessica. Quick on her feet in dance and at football. Ambition, actress. Listen up, Big Shot. You need to find out what number bus to get home with because that's how you're going home. That's the bright sparks, but what about the Big Shots? They're Wilfred, Colette and Imran. Meet Wilfred, top entrepreneur. He's turned his passion for organic farming into an award-winning brand and is raring to go. Bright sparks, you're all fools. I don't know why you actually put yourself to this because you're going to lose. Next up, Colette, marketing guru. Her PR agency specialises on advertising to women and is geared up on beating the competition. We know what we're doing and you don't stand a chance. Finally, Imran, investment banker. He does multi-million pound deals for his worldwide clients. He's certain he can deal with the bright sparks. I make millions of pounds every day. What have the bright sparks got? Pocket money. So those are our teams, the big shots with over 55 years of business experience and the bright spots who know the children's market from top to bottom. The battle is on to win the Beat the Boss trophy. It's time to deliver their brief. Big shots, hello. Hello. Uh, feeling confident? And whatever the challenge is, we are going to beat these kids. <laughs> hello, bright sparks. Hi. I just heard the word nervous. Yeah. Why? I just want to find out what we're doing, really. What would you love the brief to be? Video games, um, toys. Something gadgety. What would your nightmare brief be, <laughs> Colette? Small animals, Syra. Something to do with school. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I don't like school. Are you ready to receive your brief? Sure. Bring it on, girl. Yeah, definitely. Your team must design an out-of-this-world toy rocket. It must be powered by air or water, and it has to survive multiple missions. A toy rocket. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, now that you've heard the brief, how confident are you feeling that you're going to win this? We've got three great minds here, so we can definitely do this. We're much older than them, we're more intelligent than them. We should win this challenge. A rocket, this is sort of just my thing. I think it's a really tough challenge. I think it's really much tougher than I thought. So that's their mission. Our teams have to think galactic as they need to come up with a rocket that will blast away the competition. It's not going to be easy as the toy rocket market is very specialist worth an estimated £20 million. The big shots have gone back to school and have launched themselves into a science lesson, whilst the bright sparks are off to see what's available on planet Earth. So this is a hands-on rocket launching science kit for the whole family. I think the design should be something fun and interesting. And brightly coloured. Yeah, and it sky. should be for both genders. Maybe if we add lights and sound, it might be a bit different. The best thing about working with Jack is he's, he likes gadgets, and so he has a lot of good ideas. This one's quite clever as well. It's got a parachute, so it will land safely to the ground. What if the parachute breaks? We'll have to make it in strong material, then, if we do use a parachute for it. The bright so spots have ignited their imaginations, whilst the big shots get hands-on experience of how rockets work with physicist Matthew. Right, big shots, I'm going to need your help here. I always enjoyed school, so... And I enjoyed science, so it would be good to go back yeah, and, and meet the kids. Now, if you let the bulldog clip go... Blast off! 
That is your first homemade rocket. Even though I'm confident that we're going to win, this research bit is going to be very, very, very important. Now they're up to speed with the physics behind rockets, Matthew puts a science class into maximum thrust as he demonstrates a gas-powered rocket. With all the safety precautions in place, we're ready for blast-off. And remember, don't try this at home. Back at the National Space Centre in Leicester, the bright sparks are getting expert help too. First up, rocket building with Hannah. What we're going to do is build rockets that look like this. What we're going to do is put in some special tablets that dissolve in water and they produce a gas. The gas is going to fill up this canister, but what will happen when there's too much gas in there? Would it, like, explode? It would. It would pop this off. Which way is the rocket going to go? It's going to go up, that's right. The bright sparks get to work on their own rockets and then go outside to launch them with space scientist James. Five, four, three, two, one. And nothing happened. <laughs> I think the rockets that we made were quite disappointing because some of them didn't go off, but when they did, it was quite fun to see them go up. With their first launch successfully behind them, they probed James for more ideas. We were thinking about doing a parachute design for the rocket. Do you think that would be a good idea? I think that would be a very good idea. We like the idea of having it um, spin while it goes up. Is there any way we could do that? If you get it wrong, then you might make your rocket very unstable, but if you get it right, then it will go a long way. Meanwhile, the big shots are talking to some rocket enthusiasts to get a better idea of what you like. Would you want this rocket to do something else, or are you quite happy with it just going up and coming down again? Well, what about if you could take a photograph? I don't like the idea of a photograph. Oh, why not? Oh. The sort of things that they like and they don't like is very different to what I imagined it would be. Like if it shot out confetti or something. <laughs> Wilfred and Colette have been thinking about um, cameras, whereas I think they want a rocket that looks as realistic as possible, that goes as high as possible. If we could have a rocket that was twice as big as this one, had a shuttle on top of it that detached itself, and then the rocket came down on a parachute, the shuttle glided back down, how would that be? I would buy it. With all their information on board, they set to work on the final frontier of their market research, how will their rockets work, by air or water? Whoa. Both teams have rocketed through their market research, but now they've got to go full throttle. It's time for the brainstorm. So, are we going to do it by air or water? I think we should use air. So do I. So we divide it up into a few areas, like design and then what technology we're going to use and maybe do the name at the end. Yeah, good so, idea. Do we want to try to do something different in terms of design? No, uh, just before we come to that, so on. we know we want to be the highest rocket. What else will this rocket do? Wilfred's uh, definitely the most sort of dominant uh, figure within our team. I don't fancy the parachute idea. What's your thoughts about it? Just the multi-use of it will be much more likely to last longer if it's coming down on a parachute. What about sound? Are we going to add any sound? When it's coming down, make a whistle to it or something like that? No, I don't think so, because it's it's been done. Once it gets up into the air, it could maybe let down a bit of confetti or something. Maybe we could add some streamers as well coming down. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, good. so it's streamers. The bright sparks are flying through their ideas, whereas the big shots can't agree on one. What about the shuttle? It's still just an ordinary rocket to me. I mean, the other thing that bothers me about that is there's two things got to come back down to Earth that you've then got to go and find. Mm. Um, is that more fun? Is it, is it more fun or is it more hassle? There was a lot of different ideas being um, thrown around, but there's nothing like pressure to focus the mind and getting on with what's important. So, with the pressure on, they make some paper aeroplanes to get their initial rocket shape started. OK, so that's the shape of the wings. That's a really clever idea. It really, really is multi-mission yep. multi because it will always fly back down. Jess, can you describe what you've done? Well, we've decided on to do sort of a circular design for it and we've got a um, fin so it will keep up in the air, not just float that down. As soon as it's at its top point, it would eject confetti. OK. I wanted to add a whistle. I think if we've got lights and confetti and a whistle, it's going a bit over the top and maybe not sticking to, like, still a rocket idea. Do you agree, Jack? 
Not really, because I think this is all about being over the top, really. Unique is over the top. Should we add the yeah. whistle, then? I'm not the only team member, so what do you guys I think? think the I whistle? think the, the whistle would be good. Jack wanted to add whistles, and me and Chase thought it was a bit over the top, but in the end we did add whistles, and I think it's going to be really good. Big shots, how are you getting on? We've decided on that we want this rocket to be bigger than anything that's available. So then we've got um, kind of Concorde wings mm -hmm. to allow it to actually fly back down in a fairly controlled way by itself. Have you thought about what materials you're going to use? It's definitely going to have to be plastic or polystyrene. You're obviously getting your ideas together. Personally, my advice to you would be think about multiple missions and also think this is a toy. Unlike the big shots, the bright spots are listening to each other and are now started to think of a name. Super Duper Supreme, Sky High and Out of This World. I like the Sky, like high, sky, sky high. high. So what design ideas do we want on the main bit of the rocket? We want something like bright, vibrant. Maybe we could do like a logo on it. Meanwhile, the big shots seem to be ignoring their market research and are going all high tech. We could put, as we said earlier, a webcam kind of idea on there. The technology is there, but it's, again, it will come down to weight. If we can do it, it would be a nice thing to be able to do. It's a nice feature uh, that I think kids would definitely, definitely like. Having finally decided on the camera, can they agree on the colour? Well, it has to be something they can see at 40 metres up, which kind of implies bright colour, not dark colours. I think a mixture of luminous yellow and luminous orange. Yellow and orange. They would love. Yeah. That might be okay, that? Yeah. OK, Bright Sparks, your time is up. Jack, can you please present your final idea to me? It's a rocket which is air-powered and we've put our um, name on it, which is Sky High. And this is confetti here, which would come out when it's at its highest point. We also have some lights, then they're going to be rainbow colours. These are the whistles. So when, when it goes up in the sky they're gonna and it spins around, it's going to be making a whistle noise. How are you going to ensure that your rocket can achieve multiple missions? We've got two caps, so if it did accidentally hit a wall, you could replace it. I think you've incorporated all the elements of the brief. You've certainly thought about the design and the colour and the name and also about the multiple missions. Very well done. Thank you. Thank you. Colette, can you please pitch your final idea? We want our rocket to be the rocket that goes the highest, so it will go up very fast, it will go up very high, and then it will actually glide down. The real element here, which we're quite excited about, is that it will have a camera in it. So as it's actually going up, um, it will be taking photographs of what's beneath. Wilfred, can you please tell me what the name of your rocket is and also your colour scheme? OK, well, the name has to go down to Corlette. She came up with a wonderful um, name, Lunar Lens. The colour scheme was quite important in terms of being illuminous, so we've got sort of uh, yellow and orange there. And finally, Imran, what materials have you decided upon? It'll be um, versions of polystyrene, depending on what's most robust. Well, I think your design looks really good, and I have to say, the camera is a very exciting element to it. Thank okay. you. Now, the next stage is that you've got to go to the Science Museum to present your idea. Now, you're all expert business people. I'm sure you know how to pitch, but my advice to you would be be confident and be passionate. In preparation for the pitches, the Bright Spots have added motorised fins and a launch trigger. They've also put together a colourful presentation. While the big shots, being the bosses, have also worked up their idea into a professional pitch. But only one team can win the Beat the Boss trophy, so the pressure's on as both teams meet at London Science Museum, the UK's most visited science attraction where they'll be presenting their ideas to Ashley, the senior buyer of their retail department. I think the big shots are going to act really smart, but they're just big girls, really. I can't wait to meet the bright sparks. Bring them on, that's what I say. Hello. So Hello. you are the ones who want to challenge us, then? So what do you do, then? I'm a farmer, and I actually make my own products, sausages and bacon. Can't make a rock out of sausages. <laughs> Morning, guys. You ready to go? Yeah. Yes. We're going to toss a coin to see who's going to go first. Who wants to call? Heads. OK. Tails it is. Do you want to go first, guys? Yeah. OK, let's go. Bye, Bye losers. Bye, Bye girlies. They're going to get thrashed. They're absolutely going to get thrashed. Sky High is a reusable air-powered toy rocket. 
Sky High is a unique design and fun for all the family. The special Sky, Sky High surprises. Mm. Sky High takes off with a foot pump which is included in the box. However high you want your, your rocket to go, you simply pump for longer. Sky High has special streamers that shoot out but remain connected to the rocket. Confetti comes out of two flaps and when it's at maximum height it shoots out and is fun for all the family. Motorised fins. They spin around for maximum height and speed. We are positive our rocket is an original, exciting and scientific design keeping children and grown-ups entertained for hours. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, that sounds great. Your motorised fins, is that something you're going to want to control from the ground then once the rocket is airborne? No, they just simply spin around right. on by the ground and then... Okay. The only thing is if they're motorised, they might be quite heavy. So that's something you might want to think about. The lights, they sound great. How are you going to get those onto the rocket? They're going to be put onto the caps. Right. So they're going to be like Christmas lights, they're very light and okay. a light material. So. Yeah, that sounds possible. OK, well, I can't see any other potential problems, so good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. With the Bright Sparks well rehearsed picture over with, the big shots are up next. All right, how is it then? It's all in the folder. Trying to be adults and all that, are you? You need to take your track to home. We shall see. I think our picture is good. Oh, they're so annoying. <sighs> they really need to get their act together because they're not going to win like this. So our mission for this project is to create a rocket that goes whoosh on its way up. And then we want it to glide down, so that's kind of our wee. And along the way, we want it to go zap. We want it to actually take aerial photography. When the rocket has landed, you're then really interested to go and find out what types of pictures it's done. So the camera for us is very, very, very important. It's going to be a water and air propulsion rocket. The fuselage itself will be made out of a very light plastic the camera, how are you going to get it to take the shot exactly when you want it to? They're talking about digital cameras. The, the moment it's triggered, it just takes a series of pictures. Well, you could have a time delay switch on, yeah. and yeah. as it's gliding down, it can take a series of pictures on the way down. We found out that the rocket's called Lunar Lens, and they're putting a digital camera on it. I think that's going to totally weigh it down, and it will look completely stupid. See how you get on with the camera. I think potentially it could pose some problems for you. I think Bright Sparks might have the edge at this stage. Once the rockets are airborne, I think Bright Sparks will be more visually impressive. With the pictures done and dusted, the big shots get to work with graphic designer Glyn, and the Bright Sparks work with John, professor of technology, on their launch system. But that box contains a battery, and when you push the button, and that fires the rocket. That's a better idea than a trigger. Three, two, two one. <laughs> Having decided on the launch system, they then make easy work of choosing the material to use for their nose cone. But there's more trouble with the big shots. They can't agree on how the rocket should look. Let's have four wings. You're doubling your drag. It's interesting technically, it's not interesting to look at. Wilfred's idea is always interesting. Trying to reinvent flight uh, was probably not the best thing to do. So you can't call yourself a big shot if you're not prepared to get over problems. OK, Could let's try and think of something else outside of the box then. Could you have something that changes colour? Because I've seen certain things, you look at it and then it looks green and then look from another angle it looks um, yellow or something like that. that. That would look very nice. That's good, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. I like that. As the big shots finally agree on something, it's time for the teams to swap experts. On the top of it, we, didn't, we don't really want any white on it. The best bit about today was seeing our design on the computer because I was just like really happy and it was exactly what I thought of in my head is it to be spinning as well. As you can see, I've added these fins. We can just angle them to get your, your spin as it goes. So that's all doable. With the Bright Sparks design completed, the big shots are changing their minds again and have decided to swap their electric pump for a hand one. We have changed the pump. We've done it to add to the excitement, the fun and the interaction with the product. The camera. You can do it. We think we might be able to do it. A lovely professor, I love but... you forever. <laughs> Putting a camera into a rocket and expecting it to fly down and not break is a little bit of a risk. I'm not sure I can guarantee how reliable it will be when it comes down for the 25th time. Mm. So what I heard then was yes. We'll try. Yeah. Professor. We'll try Professor, as hard you're as so we can. Good Fantastic. Doing. With their designs complete, what do our experts think? I would bet on the bright sparks. I think um, their rocket is extremely straightforward, it's likely to work, whereas the Big Shots rocket carries a high risk factor. The Big Shots are very ambitious. 
which was very good to see. But at the same time, I think that could be their downfall. But it's not up to them. That's the job of our 25 expert judges. The products have now been made by the boffins at Middlesex University, so it's time to find out who's going to take away the Beat the Boss trophy. It's decision day. Both our teams have touched down at the Beat the Boss HQ to find out. Big days here and I'm quietly confident. There's no way we're going to lose because we've got so many great ideas for kids just to have fun with and they're going to love it. I don't want to get beaten by a bunch of little tiddly kids. Wouldn't look good for me. To beat the adults, that would be amazing because they're like professional entrepreneurs and we're just kids. We make our living out of coming up with innovative things. So, kids prepare to lose. My message to the big shots is that limo is ours. What's this business? What is that? Uh, is that a loser's you language? Are. You're a loser. Why do you have two of them? Because you're a double loser. <laughs> Settle down, teams. Welcome to the Beat the Boss boardroom. Now, today, for the very first time, you're going to see your products. Walk this way, please. Imran, how are you feeling? Yeah, very excited. Come on, let's get on with it. I can't wait to see what this is like. Let's have a look at Luna Lens. Oh, hello. Winners! There you go. That is what I call quality. <laughs> that is lovely. Now, Imran, can you just tell us why did you put a lens in? So it can take aerial photographs and kids can then see pictures from sort of 100 feet up in the air. Colette, talk me through the hand pump. I just pump, get a bit of a workout, and then it should go. Are you happy with it? Am I happy with it? Look at that thing. Well, that is beautiful. If we don't win, there's something seriously gone wrong. Bright Sparks, what do you think? They tried their best. It's just such a shame that they didn't really work. <laughs> well, that's what the Bright Sparks have got to say. Imran, how does it make you feel? I'm not worried at all. They were bound to say that. Let's see what the competition has to offer. Yes, yeah. let's. Bright Sparks, are you ready to see your product sky high? Yeah. yeah. OK, here we go. This is your rocket. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, Look wow. at that. that so now, cool. you've got ribbons here at the bottom. You've also got a tilting base so that you can shoot oh, it wow. in different Great. directions. I love the colours, I love the stand. It's everything we ever wanted. How do you launch this rocket? We put a um, foot pump because it's simple and easy to use. Che, tell me about this mechanism here. Well, this, it's a remote control. You press the green button and then the red button and then it should shoot off. Jack, tell me about some of the other features on your rocket. We've got um, uh, lights at the top here so you can like um, see it in the night. We've also got streamers and they follow behind as the rocket takes off. And what's the confetti for? We put the confetti in the top here, and then when the rocket takes off, the confetti takes off as well. Big shots, what do you think? I like it a lot, uh, but it will be the kids that vote on it in the end. I think we underestimated them, guys, don't you? Well, it's a good design. You're going to cause all this litter with all your confetti yeah. sort of nonsense. We actually asked to make the confetti biodegradable. Did you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Well, that's what you think about your products, but what's important is what did your target market think? If you take a seat, we'll find out. The rockets were unveiled at the Beat the Boss launch site, and to make it fair, our 25 judges don't know who's made which product. Three, two, one, Luna! First up, the big shots, Luna Lens. I like Lula Lens because of the camera, because it, it makes you like see wherever it's been. <laughs> well, I wouldn't buy it because I haven't got a computer, so I wouldn't be able to use the camera. It's really good, it's quite good graphics, but I thought it'd last longer. Yeah, I feel sorry for like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Good people, they have to like, stand yeah, on the I think this bit, I think this, it should be shorter. What I liked best about Lunar Lens was that it had that colourful paper on the back of it. Next, primed for takeoff, it's the Bright Sparks Sky High. Oh, 
I would say that Sky High Rocket is out of this world. If I saw that, I would definitely get it. One thing I don't like about Sky High is probably that it's quite messy after you launched it because all the confetti and streamers. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's in the dark. It looks like a little party yeah. going yeah. on. Kind of like. One thing I don't like about Sky Rocket is it didn't spin very quickly. The other one has like only one feature on it, whereas this has quite a lot with them, like the string bits and, and the, the confetti and the confetti and the light. Time to vote. Bright Sparks, our judges really liked the features of your rocket, but felt it could get messy after takeoff with all that confetti. And Big Shots, our judges liked the camera, but felt it was difficult to position the rocket for takeoff. But who did they vote as the overall winner of the Beat the Boss trophy? I have the result right here. The winners of the Beat the Boss Rocket product with an out of this world result of 20 votes to five are Bright Sparks, come and get your trophy. Yeah. Fantastic. Yay! Well done, congratulations. There's a limousine waiting to whisk you away. And Big Shots, I'm sorry, but it's the bus home for you. Congratulations, let's go! Yay! Jay, you did it. Can you believe it? I knew we were going to win, but it's so nice to hear it. Credit to where credit's due. They deserve to thrash us, and they seriously gave us a thrashing. I didn't know we were going to win like, by that much. I think that was just a beating. The camera would have been more interesting for somebody my age, but perhaps uh, you know, for kids it was the wrong idea. We know what the children's market's all about. That's why we won. It feels terrible to be beaten by kids. It really does. I'm not used to losing. <laughs> Big shots, it's not rocket science, kids are so much better. Yeah! yeah.